Hey! We are back. Um, as promised, I said I was going to do more than one video, so I at least made it to two. Um, I figured I would show you guys some of my Oracle decks. Um, let's start with one that I bet everybody probably has seen because it's pretty popular. Um, and this is the one I use the most. Um, this one is the Halloween Oracle. It's by Stacy DeMarco. It's really cool. Like, I don't know if you can see the light bouncing off it, but the box has got uh, these little, like, shiny black Halloween. Like, there's, like, a ghost, a black cat, a broom, a bat. And then there's, like, orange and black. There's a preview on the back. Um, same with the book. It's got, like, the shiny shapes. And it's got this really pretty book. And here's the deck. I'm pretty, like, weird, and I keep my decks, like, do you guys keep your decks, like, fully, like, this deck's not like a brand new, I always keep these on them if they come with it. I don't know why. It's not like the deck's not well used or anything, but anyway. Um, here's the back of it, which has just got the gray shapes instead of the shiny black, but that's what the shiny black shapes look like if you couldn't see them on the camera. Um, and here's the artwork for it. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm sure a lot of people are probably starting to use this deck more, especially as we're getting towards Samhain and Halloween time. <clears throat> but I use this all the time. Like, it could be the middle of summer, it can be the beginning of spring, it could be Christmas time, and I'm gonna use it. I don't care. Because I really love this deck. Hi, Abby. Dogs is coming to say hi. That's the scaredy dog. She's scared of everything. I think these are so pretty. And at first I was only going to stick with one oracle deck. And honestly, if I had, this would have been just fine. Because like I said, I, I pull from this all the time. and use this all the time hand-in-hand hand with my tarot readings. And a lot of times I'll pull like on Facebook or Instagram or something, I'll pull just like an oracle card a day. I could probably do that on YouTube too if you guys are interested. Um, just like a general reading or I could do one for each of the signs or something if you guys want or... No, that's really... Up to you guys, if anybody wants that, let me know in the comments. But I'd be happy to do that. Aren't these pretty? I don't know if um, every single deck I'll show every single card, but I, I kind of had to for this deck. I thought it was just beautiful. Even the spider and I spiders but <laughs> but I love this deck so yeah but anywho um, that is the Halloween deck and um, I mentioned in my last video when I did the unboxing that um, I got it's like got less cards but this is the Imperial Dragon Oracle deck. I had got this in a um, Magic Mail. The theme was dragons, and I got this as part of that. And it's really cool because um, actually when I was uh, a teenager, I used to play, well, I played Magic the Gathering, if any of you guys are familiar with that game. Um, but I also played this game called Wyvern and I pretty much played it only because I was super addicted to the artwork. Well, funny story, this deck has the artwork um, 
the same artwork was used for these cards as for the playing cards for it. Um, so here's what the backs of the cards look like. Are they cool looking? And here's some of the cards from the deck, like trying to keep the glare off it. I know not everybody is into dragons. I super love dragons, fairies. I'm trying to get detailed close-ups with no glare for you guys. But I just they're so pretty. I have no idea what this deck would retail for. I mean, I'm sure because that has um, a price list, I guess I could have looked, but I'm sure this is available for sale outside of the box. Maybe even on her shop at inkgoddesscreations.com or maybe, I don't know, maybe on eBay or I don't know where you might find it, but I think maybe my local um, witchery shop has got it, but if you like the artwork or if the deck speaks to you, I would suggest getting it. I love it. Oh, I love that artwork right there. That's the Destiny card, actually. The one that I just loved. Not this one. It's Balance. But they're all so pretty. Look at that. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Like I've said before, I only have one real working deck for tarot. Um, I might use a second one for like a different kind of topic, maybe. But um, I pretty much only use one. But I would definitely use different oracle cards. And that was it. There's 21 of these cards. And yeah, um, sorry, it also comes with a manual. It's not quite as um, big and magnificent and all that as uh, the Halloween tarot. But I just think this is beautiful. And then I have obviously the sentimental from playing the, the Wyvern game also. But. Um, But again, if that speaks to you, or if you just love collecting the oracle cards or whatever, or dragons, I would suggest getting it. Um, so there's that deck. Um, I have a couple more. Um, let's see. Let's go with this one, just because <laughs> this one scares my friend Jamie. This one actually is the Demon Tarot. And I got, I got this in Barnes and Noble, of all places. And I just thought it looked pretty cool. Here's like a sneak peek on the back of the box. Like the artwork is really Victorian looking. The book is really impressive. That's the book that it comes with. Um, the book itself is it's pretty thick and it's it's quite impressive and it comes with I mean you can see the cards themselves just looking at the book flipping through it um, and then inside of that the deck comes halved which this one I probably there's a lot of cards in here so I probably won't go through each and every single one but these are still at least in mine in pretty much every Barnes and Noble in my area and we have like three that we go to in different areas they're in every single one so you guys can probably find this pretty easy if you're interested um, 
or probably online or probably on barnesandnoble.com. This is the back of it. And I've never actually worked with this one. Um, I don't know why, I mean, I guess I just, I just haven't. But here's the artwork, like a sampling of it. That's the name of the demon. And then um, there's a little description of them at the bottom. So like, there's that one. are really interesting too because the um the author of the book kind of speculates like since this demon like when you're when you're divining for the for it since this demon is the demon of this it's a good lesson that this card would come up to think you know to start thinking about this you know like that kind of sounds dumb I guess but hopefully you get what I mean about it. Um, I don't know. I just thought that they were pretty interesting. And like I said, there's there's a lot of them. And if you're really interested in it, which I'm, gu I'm guessing you guys probably aren't, but if you're really, really, really interested in it, I can do like a full video of that and show you everything. Um, but I don't want to make this video like a billion hours long, so I'm not going to stay with it. But um, this is another Stacy DeMarco deck, like the Halloween one. This is the Viking Oracle. And I picked this up because not only did the artwork look really cool, which I didn't realize that at the time that it was Stacy DeMarco, and not only do I love Vikings, but um, also this um, kind of takes oracle cards and runes, which I'm really into also, um, and mixes them together. Um, just as an example, like, like it has a, a full book, but there's like, like Iwas is one of the, the cards. So it's, it's not just like random Vikings, it's got the, the runes on here too, like, Pertho is on here. And again, I save all these on there. Here's the back, which is gorgeous. They're so shiny, sorry. I like how it has the picture of the runes too at the bottom next to it. So you know what you're what you're looking at. <laughs> I mean this one's pretty obvious, but like radio but you get the idea. But I thought that was pretty cool, pretty nice. Oh, like, I like this one. And this one. And they're not, they're not all runes, obviously, like that one, and there's like the halls. Yeah, um, this deck is really, really nice. Uh, it's a 45 card deck also. Um, and... 
then I have one more Oracle deck. Yeah, because we're already at, what, 15 minutes, I think the camera says. Um, this one is the Dragon Fae Oracle deck. And like the other ones, it comes with a nice little book. Tell me, please tell me I'm not the only one that does this because I'm feeling really anal about <laughs> Okay, um, here's the back. Um, these are mixed up because I have used this before, but um, I think here's the green lady. Oh, that's, that's the actual artwork on the back of the card. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, that one's beautiful. The Morgan. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And again, if you're interested in these, um, I'd be happy to do a full show and tell on them but I just I wanted to give you I guess a glimpse of what's out there in case you're oracle shopping or curious I guess as to what I might have and use um, I have used this one before I really like it it's so so pretty um, there's a lot of different messages in this one Those are all of my Oracle decks. Um, I guess I'll just share this too, really, really quick. I know I'm not trying to make this. <laughs> um, I had talked about doing Wish stuff before, so I might end up showing this later, I guess, too. But um, just this is from Wish, and I thought it was pretty cute, and I couldn't not buy it at the time. They're labels, right? But they're tarot labels. Now, it's not a full deck, which is sad. But, um, if you get it and you have some reason for, these are all stickers. They're pretty, it's pretty much the Major Arcana from the Rider Waite, uh, deck, but I thought that was pretty cool. There's multiples of them too, because there's so many and they're not, they're not, like I said, the, uh, smaller cards. But you get that many. Let me see if it says on here how many uh, come in here. Which, I mean, it's Wish. So even if it says how many. Which it doesn't. No, no, no. Yes, it does. Four, it says there's 48. But even if it says that, um, it's Wish. So, I mean, there could be 35. There could be 56. Who knows how many without counting it because if you're familiar with Wish, you probably know that um, Wish is a mystery. <laughs> it's like a roulette. You don't know exactly what you're getting. but um, And you don't know if you're actually getting it. Because some stuff that I've ordered, I don't actually get. Um, they do have a decent refund policy, though. But anyway, this is not a Wish video. This was an Oracle card video. Um, however, if you want to see some other witchy stuff from Wish, or not witchy stuff, I guess, uh, if you want really into Wish, um, let me know, and I'd be happy to do some of those videos too. Just leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you like the video. Um, you can let me know if you want me to do any full decks of the ones that I kind of breezed through. I'd be happy to do it. Um, 
if you like the video, please drop me a like, please drop me a subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, if you couldn't tell already. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.